everybody. Welcome to episode six of our Faith Family Fitness Podcast. And as you can tell, Jared is not sitting next to me. This is Lauren. Hello. Yay! <laughs> Coach Lauren is here. She has been with AMP, AMP Fitness for about six months and it's been awesome to have her as a coach here. She's really raising the level of the bar and it's just been amazing. So we're going to be chatting together, just talking candidly about our, both of us have ha have three kids and our journey of fitness and how we've made it work and the do's and don'ts and also the new program that we're launching in September um, that is all for prenatal fitness and postpartum. So we are so excited to have this conversation and I want to just chat with Lauren like just sharing your journey and so Chloe her youngest is 11 months. She's almost 11 months. Yes yeah, so that has been that is exciting. It is. Um, it's kind of sad but oh, no. um, it's good. It's yeah. been really good. She's been great. I think that makes it easier. She's been a good baby yeah good baby <laughs> she's amazing every all the stories you post about her she always looks so happy yeah. even though you were saying last night so you coached this morning I did uh -huh. and then last night she was she was ready to party at 10 30 p.m. <laughs> after she already been to bed but she was uh she's ready to go so <laughs> I love her and yeah just the life right so that's baby number three yes. uh, how are they spaced out like so um they're all about two and a half years apart ish okay. yeah about two and a half. so that's kind so, of perfect I feel like we yeah. had three under three at one point so it was like back to back yeah so that was that was a lot of sleepless nights uh -huh. but so during those three pregnancies did you work out the whole time like what share with us your journey of what that was about yes so my first pregnancy I was already active um, and I continue that through my pregnancy mm. Um, I didn't really know what I was doing, but I just knew like, well, I feel okay. So I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. And Good. my, um, doctor was like, yeah, just keep, keep moving. Even if it's, you know, just walking, but I kind of kept up my weight training, Good. um, as far as I could until I felt uncomfortable and I would, you know, so your biggest thing, like listening to your body. Yes. And totally. that's what we do say here. A lot of our ladies that are pregnant or thinking about it. If you keep up that same um, fitness, your body can do this, yeah. and it's actually really helpful yes. for for your pregnant. I felt great. I mean, I I ran yeah. the whole time. Like I Gabby, thinking back, my youngest is eight now, so I'm like on a different realm of it. I feel like I can't even imagine being pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> no, sometimes I'm like, oh, but no, 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 no. Um, I have a dog, <laughs> but um. So that running, I mean, that's a little different, and I have ladies that run pregnant, mm -hmm. um, but that was, I felt, I mean, until it got a little, like, super uncomfortable, mm -hmm. it was great. Uh, pregnancies went really well, yeah. and that's what studies show, like, it's so good for us to keep movement and realizing we have to modify. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and it's, and it's okay to modify. There's nothing wrong with that, mm -hmm. but I think... Um, keeping the movement like that made me feel better through like you touched on it made me feel better through my pregnancy like yeah. days where I was like achy or right. you know just the aches and stuff if I got up and moved I felt a hundred times better after that and, and I, I think that's better that's awesome especially the sleeping yeah oh and that's another thing for those of you that are listening we do have a giveaway and it's a perfect giveaway especially if you're a mom <laughs> that didn't sleep last yes. night <laughs> And baby Chloe's up at 1030. That's so funny. <laughs> we have a renewal sleep support that whoever shares it out, we will put you in a drawing to win. A, this is great to spray on you um, so you can get some rest. <laughs> but so so how about your um, delivery? So pregnancies, all of them were really healthy. Mm -hmm, yeah. yeah. Um, I didn't have any... Um, any complications or anything so that was also helpful mm -hmm. um, in working out all the way up until delivery um, with my first I worked out probably up to like two weeks and then I just switched to walking only smart yeah. um, and I just walked that baby right did you out. go to term <laughs> did you go to term um, I was two days early with okay. my first yeah. three days early with my second and two days 
early with so very guess. similar yeah. all yeah, of them all kind of spot on so. wow what a blessing too. yes that's totally. amazing i mean Definitely. that's awesome yeah. and then so deliveries went well how was like talking about that and then how you felt after yeah i think um a hundred percent i felt good through delivery because my body was prepped mm. i think that's what is really helpful too like squats like just like normal natural movements like that really help prep your body oh, for yeah. labor and help you have like strong legs so um, just things you don't think about that you're gonna need when and you're like oh i just want to look good but actually no this is like right. functional fitness right. for every day yeah yeah and so I giving think, birth <laughs> yes yeah because you need all i mean you need all those muscles like right. you don't realize how much your body actually works i guess through labor so it's um, amazing what the woman body can do i, know. It's I mean we grow a baby in here like it's in there <laughs> tiny. i know <laughs> oh it's it's awesome that so deliveries went really well mm -hmm. and then it was okay this has been i want to talk about postpartum because i feel like for me i think i was in different fitness journeys after each of them yeah I have felt like my third as I've gotten older after Gabby, it was harder to mm -hmm. bounce back. Mm -hmm. And you just had your third. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about um, Clarissa. She's That's her oldest. Did you feel the same or was it kind of as you're, you're seeing a pattern, was it you felt like you bounced back better the first time? I think for me, I've it's been a little easier each time, which is, mm. I feel like is quite opposite. Like you said, yes, for you. like I feel like I did not have that experience. <laughs> I think though, it's just, I was, you know, I was in a different place with each baby. Mm. Each time I was a little bit more knowledgeable about how my body was feeling and what I could expect. That's, and, oh, yeah. um, so like this, this time I really focused on nutrition postpartum, like immediately. Yeah. And that, I think that helped a lot. Um, and I you, love that you're sharing that journey. So the people that listen, like you're, you are real and raw about it. This is post everything and like post baby, even sharing like your, how you're physically changing. Mm -hmm. But I just love that you're feeling better. It's not just how you look, right. look amazing, right. but the like feeling stronger with mm -hmm. your lifts and you're just feeling like, Hey, I can like even like last night's a, a tribute to, Hey, I didn't sleep a lot, but I showed up and I did a hard work. You did a hundred rep workout today. Yeah. <laughs> like that's not a normal thing for people that aren't being consistent with. Yeah. I bet if you weren't consistent with your nutrition, it wouldn't be, it would be a struggle. I think like, yes, I'm tired because the baby doesn't sleep, you know, well, it's awful. Yeah. But I feel like I would be more tired too if I wasn't you know, doing something active during the mm -hmm. day. I would just be exhausted, like, more than just the mom exhaustion. Mm -hmm. It's crazy sense. how we would think, no, you should just, like, sleep all day. But, no, movement mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. medicine. It it, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's huge. Mm -hmm. So you've seen a better trajectory with your pregnancies, like a postpartum. Yeah. But I also think that's mindset, too, mm. um, because... Like, after my first baby, it was just like, okay, I have to get my body back, mm -hmm. you know, quote, unquote, because that's, you know, what I need to do. But really, like, now with my third pregnancy, I was like, okay, it's not about getting my body back because my body's not going to be the same, mm -hmm. right? I just had a baby. Mm -hmm. um, it's about how I'm feeling, mm -hmm. which you touched on. And I, so I focused more, like, this time on, okay, how am I feeling? I want to get strength back. I don't really care about what I'm looking like or, you know, but it's how I'm feeling in my clothes and how I feel like through the day, like, do I have energy or am I just crabby? You right. know what I mean? Like, yes. That um, is so good. So that mind sh mindset shift was really helpful too, like in the difference between my first and third pregnancy. Like, I feel like that journey. speaks to so many women or it should speak because we feel like this pressure. Yeah. Well, you should bounce back. Well, if you don't bounce back, because, and let's talk about that. Every body is different. Yes, 100%. And some ladies, we, we hold on to it while we're nursing. Our, That's me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, you talked about that. Mm -hmm. She's, you've shared that hey, when I'm nursing, my body just wants to, like, because so, you, you're providing new nutrition to your child. Yeah. Like, that's the main goal. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if we can't, like, speaking that to others, like, you don't, so focusing so much on how we look 
takes away. But when you stop that focus Mm -hmm. and you worry about, oh, wow, I'm like feeling great as a mom. I'm feeling awesome with my workouts. Um, the, it's funny how your body does end up just changing. Yeah. It just, Mm -hmm. it's just releasing that pressure. Take the pressure off Yeah, because no one's, no one's walking in the shoes that we're walking in. Mm -hmm. They don't realize what Unless you share it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could. Hey, this was my day. And they're like, how did you do that? (laughs) But, (laughs) yeah. That's so good. So mindset Mm -hmm. has really made, like, this postpartum journey for you. Yeah, I think um, that. And just just being, like, gracious with yourself. Like, Mm -hmm. everybody is so quick to, like, oh, I'm cleared, like, six weeks. It's like, that's... I don't know, typical right. clearance, yes. but like maybe you're not ready for that. You know, maybe you mm-hmm. had a harder delivery and your body's taking extra time to recover and that's okay, but you just have to be gracious with yourself and kind of ease yourself back into it. And I think that, that, um, it's wise. It's, well, yeah. yeah. And that's longevity too. Mm-hmm. Like it's, Hey, I, I want to be able to do this in a year from now, but if I'm going to push myself, it's not going to. Yeah, it's not going to work or your body's going to say it, the body is amazing at telling you how it's feeling. So it's listening, listening. to it is mm-hmm. huge. So that's so good, Lauren. Thank you. Um, so that's why we've been so passionate about this conversation and wanting to offer more for ladies that are thinking about being pregnant or on the pregnancy journey or they just had a baby, so it's postpartum. So let's talk about the program that you've been working tirelessly on. Super grateful for it. Um, the workouts are ex- ex- really great. Can we talk about like what what you're going to be presenting in the program and what like the prenatal and the postpartum looks like? Yeah. So the prenatal, I have um, it set up where there's like a chunk of workouts for your prenatal. Um, I have it designed right now where it's good for any trimester and I kind of talk through progressions in the workout like if you're farther along or yes. based on how you're feeling you know um, because some days you feel better than other days mm-hmm. so um, but the point is you're getting up you're moving you're making a choice to do it um, so that's kind of what the prenatal looks like um, and then postpartum um, is really kind of building back that strength right I have it so we're we're starting with body weight movements, mm-hmm. we're engaging that pelvic floor, working on that again, um, and just kind of building back strength so you can progress into those, you know, workouts that you were doing before. It's good. Would you suggest, like, obviously we are going to be talking to our doctors and, totally. uh, yes, mm-hmm. like, so the postpartum, we're thinking about six weeks after and yeah. then easing Whenever into. you're cleared mm-hmm. by your doctor to, and then ease in, and if you feel good, then add some more in or... It's great. Slow it down. Or... How are like the days? How are we like three days a week? What is kind of like? Um, anything? so I have it set to where you could potentially do three to four a week, mm. but again, it's really how you're feeling. So you yeah. can space it out. We can. I in the program I talk about adding like walking in or other things that maybe isn't so strenuous like weights, but um, still getting that movement in. Because a walk is really great. It's I think a lot of people underestimate the power of that, especially both prenatal and postpartum. So and just blood flow, keep going, yeah. moving. So yeah. I think um, three times a week is great. It's good for if you're okay. feeling great. No, extra yeah, good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so so three days a week. Oh, I had I did have a question from somebody because we, we've been sharing it. Mm-hmm. Um, she's been working out in the gym, but she's recently pregnant. Um, do you suggest her doing this program along with what we're doing here or like you're kind of through this program, you're going to be coaching them through it. Uh-huh. So share with kind of your advice with how that would look if someone's already been working out, how would that So kind of I would say if they're working out and feel good, just keep doing what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, they could definitely add in these workouts or switch to them. Um, really just where they're at but I would can just continue because your body's used to it right you know, up until oh, I like that. Yes. you get to a point where you're just like oh this doesn't feel as un- you know mm. comfortable anymore so then okay what are my modifications and that might be where the program steps yeah. in hey mm-hmm. I'm this isn't feeling as comfortable mm-hmm. I want to still move my body this isn't as strenuous 
right. but I'm still going to feel that, oh, yeah. okay, I'm, I'm working out, I'm doing what I need to do to prepare for yeah. what's next. Right, and if it's somebody that maybe you haven't been working out and you're like, okay, maybe I should add something in, um, that's good. This is a great option to just ease yourself into it and just keep something through your whole pregnancy. So it's really a program for all everyone. Yeah. Whether, whether you've been working out or, hey, I really want a healthy pregnancy this time around or it's my first time, I'm really scared. Mm -hmm. It's having the guidance to help you get there. Yes. And be okay. successful. Yeah. And I love what we're, we're talking about, like listening to our bodies, mm -hmm. listening to like, hey, I'm not feeling great today. Give yourself the grace to let's take a rest day or right. let's just go for that walk. Yeah. That's yes. really good. Yeah. And the mindset postpartum that, hey, we just gave birth to a child. Let's give ourselves some grace that yes. our bodies, we're not 20 anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I was recovery, I know. <laughs> I know. It's like even with me getting older, I'm like, wow, I bet it takes me a little longer. <laughs> Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> but, oh, this has been so good. We are so excited yeah, for this program. Exciting. I'm so thankful for your hard work and making it what it is. It's going to be bless so many women on this journey because they're not alone. No. We're not alone. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah, so thank exciting. you for your thank time. You. Yeah. We'll do this again. Okay. <laughs>